Okay, here we have the squat jumps. All you're going to be doing is just squatting down and exploding up as high as you can every single repetition. Really, really focusing on jumping explosively as high as you can every single rep. You want to recover and jump all in one motion. You want to get down low, keeping the back flat and your head up. If the body weight exercise ends up being too easy for you, you can move and hold the medicine ball on your chest. Doing the same motion, you're just going to squat down nice and low. Every single rep, you're going to recover low and then explode up in one motion. Again, you're keeping the back flat. You're keeping the head up, getting down low every single jump. All right, here we have the stiff-legged deadlift that we're going to do on a single leg. So you just want to hold the dumbbell in one hand. And with your opposite leg on the ground, you're going to reach forward slowly and under control. Reaching forward with your upper body back flat. Your opposite leg comes up. And you just want a straight line. So you want to create a flat plank with your back and your opposite leg. Make sure that you just have a very, very slight bend in your knee. And when you reach forward, you're going to reach forward slowly. And as your upper body goes forward, your back leg is going to come up. Now, if the dumbbell is a little bit too challenging for you, you can move down to the next progression, which is just going to be holding a medicine ball against your chest. And it's going to be the same thing. You're just going to have one leg on the ground. You're going to have a slight bend in your knee. You want to keep that slight bend in your knee the entire time. You're going to reach forward with your upper body. And as your upper body comes forward, your opposite leg is going to reach backwards and you just want to create a flat plank straight across. And again, you're going down slowly under control and then you're coming up. Now, if still the medicine ball on your chest is too challenging for you, you're going to move to just having both legs on the ground holding a dumbbell and you're going to keep a slight bend in your knee. You're just going to reach forward with a flat back, slowly under control, holding the dumbbell or basically any weight with both your arms reaching forward and then coming up. Single leg squats, uh, excellent exercise for hockey. What you want to do is you just want to grab a dumbbell in each hand. Uh, you're going to have a box or bench behind you just putting your back leg up. And you want to reach forward with your front leg. So give it a good extension there with your front leg. And then you're just going to be squatting down, keeping your back flat, your head up. You want to squat down nice and low. So here you'll be able to see your back leg goes on the box. And then you want to reach forward with your front leg. So you don't want to be too close to the box or the bench behind you. You want to have a good extension there. And you're keeping that back flat, you're keeping that head up, and you're going down nice and deep. So you want to have a good deep squat going down under control and then pushing back up through your heel. You want to push back up through your heel. You do not want to be on your toe. If the dumbbells are too challenging, you're going to move to the medicine ball. Again, you're going to put that back leg up. You're going to reach forward with that front leg, getting a good extension there. And you can hold the medicine ball above your head. You're going to squat down keeping your foot flat on the ground. You can notice how we're not going up on our toe there. And then we're pushing up through our heel. If uh, you don't can't keep your balance or above your head is too hard at the medicine ball, you can just move it to your chest and do the exercise with the ball on your chest there. And then as you get better at those exercises, you can move to the higher progressions. Here's just an example of just the body weight. So if the medicine ball is still too challenging, you can do just the body weight. And remember, you want to do everything with perfect form. So make sure whatever repetition you pick, you have perfect form. Okay, for lunge jumps here, you're just going to get into a lunge position with one foot front, one foot back. You're going to squat down, and then you're going to explode up, bringing your knees to your chest, and then switching legs. So your other leg is going to move to the front. Each repetition, you're going to explode up high, switch legs in the air, and then squat down low. You don't want your knee to touch the ground, but you want to squat as low as possible without letting that knee touch the ground. All right, lateral bounds here, great exercise for hockey. Working on your skating stride power here. You're going to explode out with one leg, straight across, reaching out as high and as far as you can with each jump, bringing that opposite leg right to your heel. You don't want to bring it behind you and swing. You want to bring it right to your heel. You want to keep your head up, 
your back flat and exploding out with each jump, getting down low and recovering every jump. You can't see it, but I'm pretty sure I might have passed out there when I left the screen. Okay, step ups, you're just going to find a box that uh, comes to about your knees. You're going to have one foot up, dumbbell in each hand, stepping up through your heel. You want to push up through your heel, keeping your back flat and your head up. You do not want to push off with your back leg. You're just going to let your toe fall as you step up. You don't want to push off with that back leg. You want your entire weight and the power to come up through the leg that's on the box. If the dumbbells are a little bit too challenging for you, you can move down to the next progression, which is just to hold the medicine ball right along, right along your chest there, and you're going to make that same movement where you're just going to be stepping up, pushing through that top leg, not pushing with the back leg, keeping your back flat, your head up. Again, it's a very controlled movement. If the medicine ball is too challenging, you can move to no weight, just having those hands on your head or along your side. That's the step up. Great single leg exercise for hockey.